Hi, today is our topic design solar system for your house, for your office, whatever. So here we first calculate solar panel size and second one is calculate inverter and third one is battery bank calculation. The first one is calculate solar panel size. For that, first I need to calculate the KWH. Okay, it means the energy of your system, kilowatt hour. In my home, there are equipments like this, and the watts of these equipments are like this. And the quantity in my home, there are four number of fans and ten number of bulbs like that. And however, per day, how many hours? I am using my fan here I am using eight hours my fan okay and in the next column total watts total watts means quantity into watt that means this quantity into watt and the next one is watt hour that means energy of the system that means total watt into hour this total watt into hours Finally, I got 9600 watt hour means divided by 1009.6 kilowatt hour and the total watts of the system is 1090 watts. Now calculate total watts of the solar. For the equation is watt hour requirement at output of the whole solar panels divided by sun peak hours into panel efficiency peak hours of the sun here normally in countries like india from morning 9 am to 3 pm we would get enough sunlight so i take six hours and the panel efficiency you know the panel have some losses so i take only 75 percentage of efficiency that means 0 0.75 it means 25 percentage is the waste from the panel okay so here the total watts of solar is 2133 watts. We are going to calculate number of solar panels. This watt is the watts of all solar panels combined. So we need to find the number of solar panels which will contribute this whole power. The equation is system voltage by one panel voltage into total watts of solar by one panel watts here i am taking the system voltage as 48 because you know our kilowatt hour is 9.6 okay kilowatt hour if your system's kilowatt hour is more than 5 kilowatt hour then better you need to take 48 volt system if your system's voltage is less than a 1.5 kilowatt hour then 12 volt system is enough for you if your system kilowatt hour is in between uh, 1.5 and 5 kilowatt hour then you need to consider only 24 volt so now our one panel voltage here i have taken 48 volt okay here i can take this one panel voltage 24 volt but i am considering only 48 volt because my whole system voltage is 48 okay and total watts of solar is this one and one panel watt is 330 you know the panels are available on 250 watts 300 watts 330 watts like that here i considered 330 watts if you consider panels of more watts then the number will be less so in your roof or in your space where you are going to fix your panels you will get enough space to fix these panels so here 6.46 approximately seven panels each having 48 volt and 330 watt okay we already considered this thing now i am going to connect these seven panels we need to connect the seven panels as series parallel first we need to find the number of panels in series the equation is system voltage by one panel voltage so the answer is one if the answer is one 
and then you don't need to connect anything in series because there is only one in series at least if this answer is 2 then only we could connect it in series here it is only one so we need to connect everything in parallel so here it is the one panel of each having 48 volt and 330 watt so the current of each panel is current equation is i is equal to p by v we would get 6.9 ampere of each panels so it is the parallel connection so the final power output is 48 volt system of current is 7 into 6.9 ampere so the total power of the system is v into i 48 into 48.3 so 2318.4 watts on our calculation we already got 2133 watts for the whole solar system here it is little bit more than that 2318.4 watts so it is not problem your panels have enough power to distribute the energy to your equipment why it is more than the calculated value because our calculation we already got 6.46 number of panels but we have taken 7 panels okay that's why a little bit increase in the power you could see over here the second calculation is size of inverter equation is total watt by power factor we use this equation for to convert our watts into VA we already have 1090 watts divided by 0.8 power factor we normally consider this power factor okay so the answer is 1362.5 VA here we need to consider efficiency of the inverter you know all the machines have some losses so our inverter has only 80 percentage efficiency 1703.1 VA that means it is almost close to the 1700 VA so we could take 1700 VA itself a little bit lesser than the calculated value is not a problem that means 1.7 kVA of inverter for our whole system the next one is the battery bank size calculation the equation is watt hour into autonomous days by system voltage into battery efficiency into inverter efficiency into DOD that is depth of discharge and here autonomous days autonomous days means the days in which you would not get any sunlight that means cloudy days normally it's one to five days here i only consider one because if you wrongly consider it as two then your battery bank size will be double okay and your cost will be lost so consider only the actual number these autonomous days are the days per week suppose Per week in your country you have the sunlight for the whole seven days then you need to consider this autonomous days as one and suppose you have only one cloudy day per week then also you need to consider one suppose you have two cloudy days per week then only you need to consider two even if you have one cloudy day per week and you consider one over here it means your system could manage that one cloudy day no any problem and next is our system voltage is 48 volt and the battery efficiency is 80 percentage inverter efficiency is 80 percentage and the depth of discharge is 50 percentage that means 0 0.5 see here i consider only 50 percentage dod because when your dod is higher then the life of your battery will be lesser the depth of discharge means how much charge you could take you could take maximum from your battery if it is 80 or 90 percentage then the life of your battery will be lesser that's why i take only 50 percentage and you would wonder why i considered here the inverter efficiency in the battery bank size calculation because the charge of the battery is going through the inverter then to your load so the inverter efficiency would greatly affect your power flowing so we need to consider the 
efficiency of the inverter also so the answer is 625h so here i consider the next available size 700h of full battery bank now the calculation for the number of batteries one battery size is i am considering here 48 volt because our system is 48 volt so i take one battery voltage also 48 volt and 100 ah battery okay why i consider only 100 ah because when the age of the battery increases the cost will be also increases and also the flexibility will be higher what is that flexibility if you have only one single 700 h battery then if there any damage occurs on that battery then your whole system will be in vain i mean you will not get power from your battery until you done its maintenance but here if you consider the 100 h battery then you will have multiple number of 100 h batteries to fulfill your full 700 h so even though if you have any damage for one battery you could still run your system so the equation is number of batteries system voltage by battery voltage into full age by one battery age so the answer is seven so each battery have 48 volt 100 age we already considered this one now i am going to connect these seven number of batteries same as panel connection we will connect these batteries in series parallel so first we need to find number of batteries in series the equation is same as before system voltage by battery voltage that means 48 by 48 that is 1 so it is 1 no need to connect in series as I said before so connect everything in parallel here we have our 7 batteries each of having 48 volt 100 h and we connected in parallel and the final output is 48 volt 700 h because in parallel connection voltage remains same and the age of the battery will be add up and one additional information i want to give you suppose you have six number of batteries and your system voltage is 48 volt but each battery voltage is 24 volt then the number of batteries in series is system volt by battery volt that is 48 by 24 is 2 so how you need to connect your batteries see in series two number of batteries so we have total number of six batteries so first take two batteries and connect it in series now we have remaining four again connect two in series and the remaining two that also connect in series so we connected everything in series and after that connect each band in parallel okay that is the series parallel connection i hope you got some wonderful information about this topic if you want to have more topics like this please subscribe this channel thanks for watching